I'm about to prove that I am the most loving, kind, and generous wife that ever lived. Ryan, come here. Come here. Hey, baby. I know you've been out here doing chores, sweating. There's, there's something I, I have to show you. Okay. Closer. Go this way. Go down. Go down. Go oh. down. Go down. I see it. Go down. <laughs> it's the first ripe raspberry oh of the gosh. season. And it looks perfectly ripe. You got to have it. Who gives it to me? I do. I can't eat the first one. I couldn't eat the first one. You have to. You work so hard. I'll eat I'll eat the second, third, fourth, and fifth one, so you know you should you should probably go ahead and take you it. Insist. <laughs> you sure you didn't eat one earlier? I'm sure. I literally saved it for you. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Shall I describe it to you? <laughs> oh I know. I had the first strawberry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a it's like a whiff of cloud on a beautiful blue sky day it's so good <laughs> it's so good as a young girl it feels worse does anybody else have a flower that when you see it, it reminds you of a special person in your life? Well, this rose campion reminds me of my grandpa Dutra. He was the best gardener and a huge inspiration for me to be a farmer and grow my own vegetables. He had these planted all around his barn and I always loved them. Okay, honey, if you're having babies, you should be due. I don't see anything coming out of you, but your belly sure does look round in this position. How you feeling, Mama? Huh? You let me feel your belly? Bowser, you're gonna knock me over, buddy. You love your mama that much, huh? <laughs> oh, Bowsy. I can't check mama's belly without rubbing your belly. Oh, yes, I know. Belly flop. Gotta do the belly flop. You're a coony coony. <laughs> He's so big. My baby's growing up. He's still a big baby. Well, Peaches just rode over for her belly rub. And I'm going to have to say I have some disappointing news. I don't think she's bred. Her, uh, her milk should be all the way in at this stage of her pregnancy. It doesn't feel tight or warm or anything like it's going to have any milk. And I'm not even pressing this hard. I don't feel babies moving. On my other sow, I could feel them moving a week before very easily without pressing this hard. Darn it. So she's just fat. I wonder if she was too fat to be bred. We let you get too fat. I'm sorry. Now we need to find a new boar. Yes, we do. Darn it. I was really looking forward to some pigs. You know that the drought situation is getting pretty darn bad when you're having to water fully established blackberries. It's one of the beauties of having blackberries is they're low maintenance. You don't have to water them. But these babies were looking crispy. So I hope it doesn't affect our fruit yield. You can already see that it has, unfortunately. There are some fruit clusters that have aborted, 
because they just got too dry. Still have plenty others looking like they're filling out, but man, that stinks. Even my poor little strawberries are stunted because of the lack of rain. But at least I get to pick a couple of strawberries while I water these poor babies. So, after thoroughly reviewing my notes and my calendar, I have determined that Peaches does have another window because the boar was here for a whole nother month. So, she could be due in three weeks. Cross your fingers. What are you doing? I did get lashes over there in the goat pan. She was very happy and excited. So she's been in there foraging with them and eating all that tall grass that the goats are too snobby for. And she's getting fat. She was already fat. My girls were so fat. So healthy. So beautiful. I love me a fat cow. Man, it's hot out here. What do you think the what do you think the heat index is? Roasted toasty. That's what it is. They like a it was like a hundred. I guess. Oh, oh you're filming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty warm alright. Gotta keep those babies watered. Keep them nice and moist. Strawberry fields forever. Yum. Finally getting the much needed rain. Our garden desperately needed. Such a blessing. I can just feel it healing the land from parchness. Also checking on these guys. We have bluebirds feeding their babies in the nest. And I'm nervous about when they fledge and my barn cat's getting to them. So I'm watching out the window constantly so that I can make some kind of protective shelter for them if they do get out and can't fly yet. We'll figure out a way to protect them from those mean old kitties. You hear the babies in there? She's been sitting right underneath them and getting attacked by mom and dad. Look, she's even got bird poo on her. Don't rub on me. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. No, you can't rub on my leg. You have bird poo on you. That's because you're, 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 you're haunting them. Leave them alone. Leave, leave the birds alone, okay? Okay? Mom and dad are right there above me waiting to feed them. I didn't want to go in while I was standing close. Let's see if we can catch her. Don't worry, Mom. I'm not coming in to bother you. I know you don't like it. I'm just checking on you. Today would be the date of hatching if they were normal ducks. But if the Muscovy's the daddy, what, we got another week? Maybe? We'll see. I just wanted to see if there were any baby ducks hopping around out here. 
Not yet.